I cannot see anything. Hmm. Maybe this will help. Oh, so much better. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hi, do you want to see what I'm doing? Take a look at this. It's a micro pong. It's a pong inside the Petsky character. Crazy, huh? Come on. Now, whoever watched my first two videos about the Pong game uh, could have guessed that this one is coming also. So, when I talk about Mr. Jan Schmidt's comment in the previous video, what I didn't show you is the whole conversation. And here it is now. Well, you can see now that this idea of miniaturized Pong games was born rather quickly. So, if I didn't make this video also, it would feel like I did half of the job. But I promise this is the last one. So it's a Pong game inside a single Petsky character, and that is 8x8 pixels. So that means that it's very crowded inside. And is it any playable? Well, we'll see about that. And because the concept behind this game is exactly the same like in the sprite version, uh, I will make this video a much shorter because I'm not going to go through all of the code, but the code will be available in the GitHub and the link will be in the description of this video. So I will only show you um, two things. First uh, one is a Petsky character editor and the second one is a function that doesn't exist in the sprite version and that is a function that copies uh, characters from the character ROM into the Commodore 64 memory and this is very useful in this case. So here we are in, in our Petsky online editor once more and this time we are going to character editor and uh, we are going to choose the C64 uppercase default characters so let's edit them and uh, we are, I, what I choose is the first three characters and I modify them. So first character, which is at character, um, I'm going to clear this area. So I'm going to delete that sign. And what we have now is eight by eight pixels, of course. So eight uh, columns and eight rows. And here we're going to draw our Pong game. So what we need first is the upper border and bottom border. There we go. We need a ball. Let's place a ball. A ball. And we need the left and the right bet. So let's uh, place the left bet and the right bet. Here we go. Now, this looks like a, like a pong game already. Now I did try to play a little bit with the uh, length of the bets, but uh, if I choose three pixels in length, it, doesn't look really good uh, because it's a character it's really really small uh, so it's uh, even because of the um, uh, smearness of the colors it could be really hard to see so I decided that uh, bats with uh, two pixels in length is better option um, and uh, it's uh, um, much more uh, difficult to play of course but you know compromises uh okay so that's uh, our pong game uh the next well, i'm going to choose the character a and uh, here i'm go here i'm going to draw a scoring point screen so when you score a point this is what you should see so <clears throat> the idea behind when you score a point is similar or, or exactly the same like in the sprite so you just switch the at certain location you switch the characters from the add character you show the a character um, and then make some delay or sound and then switch back to the a character uh, the whole pawn game will still be uh, available um, in the add character so 
that's our score sign and uh, the third character that I'm going to use is uh, letter B uh, and for this is used for the micro character uh, because it's micro pawn we need a micro sign uh, so I'm going to use this pi sign and I'm going to copy it and place it here and then I'm going to rotate it and here we go we have a micro sign or micro character so now we have everything prepared to create a micro pong game uh, of course we need to we need to, to to delete this because we don't need that uh, here we are going to create bats and the ball dynamically so all we need is a uh, upper and bottom border uh, score screen and our micro character that's it we are ready to create a micro pong game so this is our c code uh, for micro pong and these are the three characters that we uh, modified and prepared for the game so they are in form of the arrays <coughs> just like in a uh, sprite version uh, so the first character is our at sign and we um, uh, created this uh, character to be a uh, Pong Arena. So this is a character where the whole game will happen. Uh, the second character is a um, character that represents, uh, that shows briefly when you score a goal and then disappears again. Uh, and then the third character is a micro sign, so a micro character. Uh, that we will just use for the game title, so it's micro pong. So <clears throat> this is it, and uh, these uh, bitwise functions that we use uh, to um, write or clear the uh, specific bit uh, uh, that are used in the sprite version. Also, here are just a little bit more simplified because uh, we only have eight by eight pixels, so it's very simple. Uh, but they are exa the logic is e exactly the same. Uh, and then we have our new function called setup chars or setup characters. Um, so the way this function works is um, it copies the character uh, characters from the character ROM into the Commodore 64 memory. And the reason why we do this so we, that we can modify it, uh, our characters and uh, so uh, this uh, section here just turns off the interrupts uh, on the in CIA chip so that uh, there are no interference. Then this for loop just copies the copies the uh, characters from the character ROM to the char uh, to the Commodore 64 memory at specific location, and that location is 3000 hex. And then we re just restore the interrupts here. And then uh, this uh, line here just tells the weak chip to, to uh, that he knows where the new character set is uh, located. So <clears throat> this is it, quite simple. And then, uh, so in, in this point, we have our default C64 uh, character set in the memory. And now all we do is just inject our three characters that we need for the game. So we re replace the add character, the A character and the B character. Okay, A letter, B letter and add sign. That's it. So that's the whole functions. The, all the rest of the code is almost exactly the same. Uh, like in the sprite version. The only thing that uh, we, uh, you can see here this is our entire uh, screen of the game. Um, so we have uh, B Pong. So the, the letter B will be transformed to a micro sign. So it's micro Pong. And then we have some asterisks. Then we print our score. And then um, here we just print uh, the whole Pong arena um, at certain position. That's it. That's, that's the whole. Uh, game, so uh, let's build it and I'll play a little bit. And here we go. I don't know, do we have a sound? Do we have a sound? 
Okay. Huh. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah. Good. Huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You cannot play this without magnifier there. Ah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah. Biker Pong. On the side the pesky character. Yeah. Ah. 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 It's plain on the home. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I will be gone and i leaving you with this uh, micro pong, self playing pong inside the Petsky character. Goodbye. Th uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time.